Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to demonstrate a tool in the Inventor Software Developers Kit that can help us with updating a bunch of styles all at once. So I had a customer reach out to me recently asking about how to update sheet metal styles, but across many different parts because they're changing some of their bending criteria. So what I've got here is just an example, and I strongly recommend that you run everything off of rules. If you're not doing that already, uh, it just saves so much time. It's much more efficient. But I'll come up here to the Manage tab, find the Styles Editor, get out of there. <clears throat> and in the Styles Editor, I've got a rule that I'm utilizing. This is uh, in all styles, and I've also got it locally. So it's a, it's a rule that's in my style library. It's a 80,000 stainless steel rule. And what we can do is change some of the criteria. So for example, I'm gonna make it 85 thousandths. And in here, we've got a bend radius of 0.125, but we'll switch it to 0.13. So we've made local updates for whatever reason, and then the style library would change. So I'm just gonna save this file, and let's save a bunch of them. So we'll do a save as, number two, I'll overwrite that one. Uh, apparently it's still open somehow, so we'll change it to three. It's okay, never thwarted. And we'll save a couple other ones. So we'll do a save as, and we'll do, say, a fourth. Okay, so I know they're all identical, but the point is that we've got multiple files. So what we can do, we can either have files open or closed, I believe, but... <clears throat> In the software developer kit, so this is going to be in your C drive, users, public users, public documents, Autodesk, Inventor 2022, whew, open the software developers kit, the SDK, and you're going to want to install the user tools. It only takes a minute or two. It's a pretty small little um, <clears throat> tool set, but if we go back to Inventor, what that does is this gives us an add-in called Batch Update Styles. So remember, initially, I had the library style set to point, uh, or 80 thousandths thick steel, and I also had the bend radius set to 0.125. So if I hit batch update styles from the add-ins tab, <clears throat> I'll pick all of my parts. So this is where it's a little bit manual, but still I can pick all four of them at once. Hit open, and it says, hey, some of those styles are out of sync with the library. If you update from the library, you're going to change the local file. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> and it tells you which files were updated. Oh, they were except for number two, right? Because it was already set, so we're good. So just to see how that worked, let's go back and open that first one, the one that we modified. Look at the Manage, Styles Editor. Notice it went back to 80 thousandths. And if I look at the bend, it's back to an eighth inch bend radius. So that's the idea. If you change some of your K factor or unfolding rules, that should work as well because those are just other styles. So, hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.